With the Lumetri tools of Premiere Pro, we are able to use a LUT or even a custom LUT to add a specific look to our videos. But have you ever wondered how to create your own LUT and import that in Premiere Pro? Well, let's find out. What's up guys, it's Jordi here for Cinecom.net and we are going to create our own LUT using Photoshop. So the first thing you want to do inside Premiere Pro is actually grab a screenshot of your video right here and we're going to import that inside Photoshop. And you can do that from your toolbox right here, you can find export frame. So just click on that and uh, you can give it a name if you want, so just call it frame grab or something, doesn't matter. And uh, as the format, you actually... For the best quality, you want to take the TIFF. And uh, once you've selected that, you can press OK. And I've exported that into my folder, where I also have my clip right here. So it should be somewhere right here if I press F5. So there it is, the frame grab. And let's import that inside Photoshop. So I've got Photoshop open right here. So uh, let's just drag that frame into Photoshop so that we can edit that. Now, there are multiple ways to actually create a LUT inside Photoshop. The first one is pretty limited, and that is by using the adjustments. And that's the only thing that you can actually use. So right in here, we can, for example, add some curves to that photo, and uh, we can add some contrast by using that curve. We can also uh, use other adjustments, uh, let's say the photo filter, and uh, let's add some red to that. Uh, it doesn't really matter what I'm doing here right now, but I believe that you get the point. Um, Let's also add some U and saturation. I'm just going to like decrease the saturation a bit. And let's assume that we have a look now that we like. What we can do now is actually export all of these adjustments to a LUT. And that's very simply done by just heading over to the file, say export. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was looking for it. And then you say color lookup tables. And first of all, it will ask you for the quality. And um, basically, the higher this number is, the higher the uh, sided LUT will be, but also the more. Uh, slowly, it will go in Premiere Pro because uh, it will use all of this information. Basically, 32 or even uh, 64 will be more than enough. Then as for the formats, uh, we're just going to work with the cube format. So you can just deselect the other ones, uh, just leave the cube. And uh, well, that's basically it. Then just press OK. And then it will ask you where you would like to save that. Just press OK. And uh, now we're going to head back to Premiere Pro. And in Lumetri, from where we can select a look or a LUT actually, we're going to select Browse. And from there I'm going to browse to my folder, how to create a LUT, and right in here we can find that cube file. Select that and press Open, and right away you will see that the effect is applied. This is the same effect as we can see in Photoshop right here. So this is one way of how you can create a LUT and actually import that in here. And now that once it's imported, you can now change other things, of course, just like any other LUT works. You know, guys, while I was preparing this tutorial, I actually wanted to make use of the camera raw inside Photoshop to actually export a LUT from there, but that wasn't really possible until I found a tool that helped me do that. So I want to show you that as well. I'm going to head back to Photoshop, and I'm just going to delete all my layers here with the adjustments. There we go. And with my frame wrap selected here, I'm going to head over to Filter and select the Camera Raw filter. And so that will allow me to use all these great tools in the Camera Raw. So I'm going to... Uh, Change some of the temperature, decrease the, the exposure, perhaps add some contrast. Doesn't really matter what I'm doing here. Now, unfortunate when I'm going to press OK and head over to File to export this as a lookup table, I'm going to get this error. And that's because I haven't made use of the adjustment layers. But there is a workaround to it, and that's because of this little program right here, the LUT generator. It's from I-W-L-T-B-A-P, LUT Generator. It's a free tool that I found online, and I'll also put a link in the description below where you can download that as well. And that will actually allow you to create a LUT from anything. So also from Lightroom, or if you are using GIMP, or it doesn't really matter where you are creating your style. You can just copy the settings of your style to this uh, application right here. And it also works for Mac, by the way. So I'm just going to double click on it, and it uh, gives you this little window right here. And the first thing you want to do is head over to this question mark to go into the options because you want to change the 3D LUT to 64 because it's much higher quality and it's pretty okay still in size. So I would just go for that and just press uh, close. And then the first step you want to do then is generate a halt. And then you want to select where you want to generate that file to. I'm just going to select the folder that I'm working in, press OK. And it should come right here. 
So then you get this very weird image, but uh, we're going to use this image to generate the actual LUT. Now what you wanna do is drag this file inside Photoshop as well. There we go. Now what you wanna do is copy the settings of this one here over to this image. Now I wasn't working on a smart object, so my settings are now baked in into that background, so that wasn't good. So I'm just going to go back in time to delete my camera raw settings and head back to filter, camera raw filter, and to do it all over again. So let's just add some contrast again, perhaps decrease the highlights, the temperature, uh, and so on. I know there are a couple limitations here, for example, the clarity, and it's pretty unfortunate because uh, you can really create pretty cool looks with the clarity, but we cannot use that. It will not work. Um, it will not only work with this tool, but also just not in any LUT in general. So that's unfortunately a limitation. You can also use the curves if you want to. Sharpening is also something that we cannot use um, in this technique. All the different color levels can all be used, so that's pretty cool. We can change some of the colors here, the luminance, saturation, U, doesn't matter. Also split toning, uh, lens corrections is something that we can use with LUTs, but not in this tool, unfortunate. So um, you cannot use this one here. Then effects, I wouldn't touch this too much as well. We can, we can add grains again with LUTs, but not with this specific tool. So there are limitations, uh, but I still believe it's a pretty cool way to actually generate LUT from pretty familiar tools. Also from Lightroom, you can uh, do the exact same thing. And uh, once you got something, don't just press OK, but we're going to save this. So just click in the upper corner right here and say save settings. And uh, just press save and we're going to name this my settings or something, doesn't matter. Save that and then you can press cancel if you like so. Because what we're going to do now is head back to that weird image right here and we're going to go to filter, camera raw, filter. And we're going to head over to our presets and right here we can find those my settings. Select that and now you can press OK. And now also save that image. So head over to file, just press save, there we go. And now go back to that plugin or that tool, or whatever it's called. And uh, now let's just select convert to cube. Click on that, select that image file that was generated, but which you have also added your effects on, press open, and then it will generate that, press okay. Right here it is, the cube file, the neutral 512. Let's just call, let's just give that another name. Just give that my awesome LUT, there we go. And now we can go back to Premiere Pro, select for the input LUT, custom, and we're going to select from our folder, my awesome LUT, and there we go, bam! This is generated from the camera raw plugin of Photoshop. But the tutorial isn't stopping right here yet. But let's say every time you open up Premiere Pro, you just want your custom LUT to be in here. You don't want to import that every time you're going to use or you're going to work on a different project. What you can then do is, and I'm just going to set this back to none and just close Premiere. Yes, I wanna save that. There we go. In your installation folder, and I've got it opened right here, you will find in this path, so program files, Adobe, Adobe Premiere Pro, CC 2015.3, slash rudimentary, slash LUTs. For the Mac users, you probably wanna go into the app data, etc. But you know, all this information can be found in the blog post as well that we put online every time when we make a tutorial video. You can find again a link in the description below. And what you wanna do now is actually put this LUT into one of these folders. You've got creative and you've got technical. Creative is from the creative looks and the technical is from the input LUT uh, within Premiere Pro. Uh, let's just put in the creative and I'm just going to drag my awesome LUT into there. There we go. And let's boot up Premiere Pro now again and let's see if it's in there. Open my project and let's see now from the creative tab, look, and I should find it somewhere right here, my awesome LUT, it's right there. And we can use that anytime we want to. Definitely check out the description below guys, also for a link to our blog post where you can find more information. Also, if you're not still sure about how to use a LUT properly, then I suggest you watch the video here on my left where you can see that explained. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you like this video or thumbs up. And as always, stay creative.